Welcome to Tyrannosaurus Riffs. My name is Brandon and today we're going to check out the PRS P22. This P22 has a mahogany body with a beautiful figured maple top and faded gray black. We've got a mahogany neck with 22 frets on an East Indian rosewood fretboard with the bird inlays. We've got PRS P22 passive pickups. We've got a piezo stop tail bridge, nickel hardware. As you can see from the serial number at the top, this guitar was made in 2012 and features PRS's locking tuners. Now, as always, there are chapters below, so if you wanna skip around through the video, please feel free to do that. But before we get to the playthrough, let's check this out in a quick mix. What's going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well out there. I'm very excited to show you this beautiful P22 today. Now this guitar just kind of fell into my lap on a trade for an amplifier. I got it straight across. I honestly don't know a lot about PRS guitars. I've been interested in the PRS uh, Dusty Waring, Waring, not sure how you say that, or the Mark Holcomb, but I've never made it past that. I just really like the looks of those guitars but I've never really come across a PRS to try. And when this got offered up, I figured, what the hell, let's try something different. So this guitar has the piezo system like I talked about in the specs for a second. There is a piezo only input for an acoustic amplifier. I don't have an acoustic amplifier, but we are in the mix and match kind of plug-in and we can switch between the piezo with this three-way toggle switch. Blend some tones. So normally I don't do a whole lot with cleans. I'll just show you one or two quick riffs, but we're going to play around with the cleans a little bit more. So if you want to skip around through the chapters, please feel free to do that. But for the signal chain, we've got the PRS P22, obviously. We are going into a Digitech drop pedal. It is currently not on. Straight into the Rocker Verb 50 Mark III, Mesa Engineering straight cabinet, the oversize with the vintage 30s. We are going through the two notes Torpedo Captor X or a better audio representation on your side using the same Mesa cabinet. This guitar is currently tuned to drop D. Let's get into it. That was the bridge pickup for just the electric. I've now switched this over to the piezo so we can check out the acoustic tones with this real quick. Blend. And back to the electric sound. Neck pickup. You guys, if you've been here before and you've seen any of my videos, you know that I really enjoy the neck tones um, on clean and leads. So let me just show you that real quick. I'm not much of a clean player, but when I do play clean, those are the tones I'm generally looking for. Now the orange uh, rocker verb is a little bit brighter than sometimes I like, but this is a very, very good tone to my ears. 
but as much as I don't play acoustic and I cannot remember the last time I even picked an acoustic guitar up, I really like having the tones and options to do this. It's really nice to be able to have the options to switch between electric and acoustic. I had no idea that I even cared about that. Really didn't think that I would, but I've had a lot of fun just messing around, trying different tones, because there's about a million tones on this thing. And depending on your level of creativity or how creative you want to get with it, this guitar is amazing. But Let's go ahead and move on to some high gain stuff. Now, when I think of PRS guitars, the first band to come to my mind that I remember seeing is Linkin Park. Another band would be Good Charlotte. Cradle of Filth, but I don't know any Cradle of Filth riffs. And Nickelback. I know how much everybody loves Nickelback. Now, I hope that because I played that riff in particular, you don't leave my channel. <laughs> Thank you for being here, but let's, let's check out some riffs that I like in Drop C. I really feel like this guitar nails that rock and roll sound very well, and I feel like this is a pretty rock and roll setup, rock and roll. Mesa with vintage 30s, what's not to like? Generally, I'm playing guitars that are loaded with Fishman Fluence. I'm a huge fan of the different tonal options between the passive and active, but this guitar only has the PRS P22 passive pickups. They sound amazing. I really, really enjoy them. I don't know a lot of the specs on them, but I'm guessing that they're pretty high output because they have a lot of crunch. They've got a lot of clarity. I honestly don't have any complaints about this guitar. It's pretty sick. Wait till I tell you the price tag on this thing. Any guesses on that price tag? So they don't make the P22 anymore. I think it was replaced with the Custom. Don't quote me. I could be wrong. Like I said, I don't know my PRS stuff super well. The used ones, the cheapest one I can find on Reverb, Guitar Center's used site, $3,000. I see these things all the way up to like $4,500. I think I saw one for $5,000, but it was a uh, PRS top 10, so it had a like a perfect top, I guess. But that's just crazy to me because I would have never guessed it was a you know $3,000 guitar 
at, at minimum. <laughs> Now, that's probably enough riffing around for you guys tonight. Um, like I said, this, has, this guitar has quite the price tag. When I did the swap for it, I honestly was like, I've played a lot of guitars in the $2,000 range. Um, this Gibson Les Paul is a good example of that. And I've never felt like they were better than a lot of $500 guitars that I've picked up, you know, Schecter's LTDs, by the way, just because they make a $500 used guitar, they make fantastic stuff. I love both those brands. But my point is, with the price tag being so high on this, I really didn't have a lot of expectations. For the most part, guitars are gonna sound like guitars. Um, when I sat down with it, I was like, all right, cool, it's comfortable, you know, it, it feels good. But when I turned, I, I wish I had it on camera, I really do. When I turned this amp and cab on, and just started playing through this guitar. It was the first time in a long time that I've picked up any new guitar and not wanted to put it down. I always get excited to buy equipment, um, but this guitar, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the, the tones out of it, if it's the feel, but it makes me want to play more than I've wanted to play in a long time. And I had every intention of selling this guitar, and I'm still kind of thinking about that because I kind of want a different color, but I don't know if I will because I love this piezo system so much. I love the acoustic idea built into this. I, I don't know that I can actually let this guitar go because it's, it's truly it's one of my favorite guitars I've ever played, and it's got nothing to do with the price tag because I honestly didn't know if I'd like it that much. But anyways, that's my kind of spiel. That's, this is my first experience with a PRS. Um, I don't know, it's gonna maybe make other guitars less interesting to try. That's not true. It's always fun to try new stuff. But anyway, thanks again. I'm rambling. I appreciate your time. Thank you for stopping by. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.